Oh, through the night looking good. No issues out there on Tuesday, but you'll be cranking up the AC once again in the car. And of course, always check the back seat. Never leave anybody in a vehicle for any period of time. This is it's not even for just this time of year. It can still be warm out, say middle 70s, and a car can heat up very quickly after you turn the engine off and close the doors. Looking into your Wednesday here, a system will be coming in from the west, a cluster of storms. Well, they'll kind of die out as they reach our area. And then during the afternoon, looking at some more scattered showers and thunderstorms late afternoon, and then into the evening, a few of these storms could have strong winds and heavy rain. And right now, part of the area is under a slight risk for severe weather. It's really for areas west of I-65. We're in that marginal threat here, but this is from the Storm Prediction Center. This is what we're tracking as we get into Wednesday. So we'll keep you up to date on that part of the forecast here. Mild and quiet for tonight. 64 degrees on the overnight. And as we look ahead to your Tuesday, enough sunshine in there. Some scattered afternoon clouds highs into the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees. If we didn't get to 90 degrees today, I think tomorrow we certainly have a good opportunity to do that as we do check out your seven day forecast. We got a few of those storms towards the end of the day on a Wednesday and then into a Thursday could have some storms around even during the morning hours. A couple more will try to develop during the afternoon. A bit of uncertainty on the exact timing of the storms later in the week and then into the weekend. That's why you will want to continuously come back to your first alert, a seven day forecast, which we feature on air, but you can also find it on our our website and also on our mobile app. You can download the WBKO First Alert weather app on your app store. Heading into the weekend we go. You can see again we've got some of the storms around. We definitely have the warmth in the air. No, a lot of pools are opening up this weekend. We've got the warm weather, but again, we've got some of the storms around. And then for Memorial Day Monday itself, highs remaining unseasonably warm in the middle 80s with those mornings in the middle and upper 60s.